I've read the fiery gospel written Burnished rows of steel As you deal with my condemner So with you my grace shall deal Let the hero born of woman Crush the serpent with his heel Since God is marching on In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, kids, are you excited to study the Bible today? Mm -hmm. I am. Let's hold them up, okay? What is the Bible? The Word of God. Oh, let's do that a little bit better. What is the Bible? The Word, the Word of God. Okay, okay, good job. Hey, we are going to be talking about oh, evil or bad spirits. What, are, what does the word evil mean? Something that's bad, something that comes from Satan, right? Mm -hmm. We're going to be talking about these today, okay? You see all these icky, yucky faces? That, the, these the are one the one with the porcupine here is the icky. <laughs> yes. Which one? This one? Or yeah, this one? That one. This one, huh? Yeah, all these are the fruits of evil spirits, okay? Evil spirits make people do bad things, okay? What do good spirits do? They make people do good things. That's right. We have the Holy Spirit. The Holy Spirit has, has uh, I'll show you what the Holy Spirit has. Let's see here. Now the Holy Spirit. We'll talk about these a little bit later, but the Holy Spirit is happy, right? Happy brings happiness, not all these other icky, yucky spirits. Can you see spirits? No. They're invisible, right? But what do we, do you remember when we talked about Ephesians 6, how we're supposed to wear armor? Mm -hmm. We're supposed to have the gospel armor, right? Mm -hmm. That's the fight that's, against that's, these guys. That's that the fiery gospel. Yep, but we have a, a uh, to, to defend ourselves against the fiery darts of Satan, but yes, the gospel, the sword of truth, is a fiery sword, isn't it? Mm -hmm. It's the fiery like gospel. Like the angels have. Yeah, angels. Yeah, the angels have. Remember at the Garden of Eden? Mm -hmm. When they were guarding the Garden of Eden, they had flaming swords of Yeah, fire. it's in Adam and Eve. There's one angel who had a fire sword. You are right. But these are the guys Jacob that we... Jacob, raise hand. Yes, Jacob. Uh... Okay, if you remember it, let me know. These are the guys that we fight against. We fight against evil spirits in the world today. Remember we talked about Mystery Babylon? And how that New York is kind of like Mystery Babylon today? Right? Because yeah. New York is full of all these spirits, and we're going to talk about them in a little bit, okay? All these yucky things are inside the city. They live there. And they're called what? Evil spirits. Yes. They're the opposite of what? Badness. They're the opposite of the Holy Spirit and the fruits of the Spirit, right? These are, evil is the opposite of good. The Holy Spirit's good, right? All right. Hey, let's read this first, okay? And then we'll talk about all these icky faces up here. What book of the Bible are we in, Lucy? Chapter? Chapter 18. 18. Two. First two, yeah. Last Last, two. last week we were in chapter 17. Today we're in chapter 18. 18. Now I'm going to read the verse right before this. I'm going to read verse 1, okay? And? You, well, hold on. I'm going to read verse 1. And Jacob's going to follow along with me there. It says, and after these things, I saw another angel yeah. come down from heaven. Come down from heaven. Having great power. Having great power. And the earth was enlightened with his glory. And the earth was enlightened with his glory. Okay, so this powerful angel comes down to earth and he has a message, okay? And he's full of light. What is all this? Darkness. So this is all darkness. Now the angel comes, and he's full of light, right? Yeah. 
shining light, and that's just a big light, like the sun or something, okay? To shine against this stuff, okay? That's all darkness. And let's read here. So the strong angel comes down, and he cried mightily with a strong voice, saying, Babylon the great is fallen, is fallen, and is become the habitation of devils. Do you know what this word habitation means? Yeah. It's a long word. It means their home. It's where they live. Can you say that word with me? Habitation. 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 This house is our habitation that we live in. Yeah. Our house. Okay. So we got devils here. All right. This word means demons or evil spirits, okay? It's pretty much the same. Pretty much the same, okay? So here we go. And the hold of every foul spirit. The word foul means disgusting, dirty, and evil. That's what it means. So the angel's yelling this out. He says, Babylon, Babylon, you've become the home of the evil spirits. Right? And he says, you're going to fall down. Yep. He's yelling at Babylon. He's telling them that you're going to fall. You're going to be defeated. Okay? And, let me finish, and a cage of every unclean and hateful bird. Yes, Jacob. Uh, that guy, it, right, yeah, that one, what does that word say about him? Okay, we're going to go over these, okay? So the angel's telling Babylon that she's going to fall. Mystery Babylon, right? That great city that, that, that is so full of darkness. This one is sloth, okay? That's one of the fruits of the evil spirits. You know what sloth means? What? To be lazy. Mm -hmm. To just sit around and not want to work. Remember, we're supposed to work six days and rest one? Well, a sloth wants to rest seven days and work zero. But we want to play one day and work six days. Ten days. No, nope, it's, it's, God says we work six and we rest one. Okay, let's talk, so that's what sloth, what does sloth mean? To be lazy. To be lazy, not to want, and most importantly, to be lazy. The most important meaning of this is somebody who is lazy spiritually. Somebody who doesn't want to study the Bible. That's a sloth. One, right? Two, three, Lucy. Five, six. What are these letters here? What if we say them here? Six. Can you say these letters? Uh, S L O T H. Yep. This is four, this is six days. We're supposed to work that way. Yes, you are right. Four not, plus two is six. Not this many. No. Nope. Exactly the amount that God says. No more, no less. Okay? All right, here we go. This one, can you guys say the letters with me? P R I D D E. Pride. Pride. Pride, pride. Do you guys, do you guys remember what pride is? Do you remember who had pride? Satan. Satan had pride. What does pride mean? I'm better than everybody else. Uh huh. I just worry about me. No. Does that come from the Holy Spirit? No. no. That comes from the evil, evil. spirit, yes. right? And we want to fight against those. We keep the gospel armor on. Mm -hmm. All right. Like the fiery gospel. Yes. All right. Oh, here's another icky face. Ew, that's yucky. Wrath. Yeah. Can you say it with me? Wrath. Wrath. This is this is somebody who's always. W R A T H. Yep. God 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 sends wrath, but it's a different wrath than this. This kind of wrath is somebody who's just angry all the time at everybody. They just sit around. They got a big grumpy face on. Now, I don't like that person. <laughs> right? 
Is that, is that what the Holy Spirit does? Does the Holy no. Spirit make grumpy, crabby, <laughs> mean people? No. No. Yes, Jacob. What does that other head look like? Okay, this one. Gluttony. Gluttony. This is somebody who just wants everything. Like, let's say, let's say food. This is somebody who eats and eats and eats. They eat ice cream and, and all kinds of food, but not just a little bit, but all day long, and they get really big. And they, get, they just want to eat what they want. That's yeah, they just they don't know how to control their appetite. Mm -hmm. This is somebody who gets really big and, and fat. Okay? They're called gluttons. Oh. That, that's, that's, that's a sin. Yeah, it's a sin. So God doesn't want us to eat everything we can get our hands on, right? He doesn't want me to grab a big tub of ice cream and go, I'm hungry today. <laughs> what do you like that? What do you like to eat this whole thing? <laughs> okay, that's a glutton. All right. Here's another one. Lust. Lust means another, um, that means to desire things that are not good for you. It's called lust. Let's say I want to, um, oh, well, I'm trying to think of a good word or a good example. Let's say I wanted to play toys all day long and not and, do my chores. And never clean them up. And just leave yeah, them and up. all I did was think about my toys, and I just I just want my toys. <laughs> all day long. I don't want to listen to mommy and daddy. I don't want to clean. I just want my toys. <laughs> That's lost, okay? Oh. And you'll learn more about that when you get older, okay? All right. Greed. Greed is somebody who says, ah, I just want money, money, money all the time. I just, I can't think of anything else but money. And I want a bigger house. I want bigger cars. I want boats. I want everything. <laughs> That's greed, okay? All right. Envy. That means when you look at somebody else and you go, I wish I was like her. I wish I was like him. Why can't I be like her? Right? Yeah. That's somebody who thinks they, 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 they look at everybody else and they want what they have. Yeah. Does God like that? No. No. That's not the fruit of the Spirit. Okay, so these are all what? Like a pea. Evil spirits. Evil. The fruits of evil spirits. And where do they, where do they come from? Mystery Babylon. Mystery Babylon, right? The great city or the great evil sorceress woman. Yes. Can you do, do those picky phrases all again? Okay, let's do them again. Pride. Pride. Wrath. Wrath. Gluttony. You want me to act them out again? Yeah. Okay, pride. I'm better than everybody else. Nobody's as good as me. <laughs> Wrath. I'm just... <laughs> Gluttony. Alright. <laughs> <laughs> Lust. I want toys. Oh, that's all I want is toys. Okay, greed. I want money. I just all I want to think about is money. Okay? Envy. I wish I was like Lucy. I wish I had a headband like Lucy's. And Jacob, look at that shirt. I want that shirt. No. No. <laughs> okay, that's okay, sloth. I don't want to do anything today. I can't hardly hold myself up. Uh, oh, I don't want to read the Bible today. That's too 
much work. That's a sloth, okay? Yeah. All right. What was I going to go over? We were going to go over some. Oh, the good, the good fruits of the Spirit, okay? New Jerusalem. We're going to talk about it, Lucy. We're going to talk about New Jerusalem in the next couple of weeks, hopefully. We'll get there. And that is the opposite. Listen, listen. That's the opposite of all these evil spirits. New Jerusalem is full of good spirits. Let me read some of them, okay? This is from, Gal oh, I don't have it there. Galatians 5. We'll look at this after class, okay? I'll show you guys these. Galatians 5 says all of the fruits of the Spirit are, say this with me, love. love. Joy. Joy. Lucy, say it with us, okay? Joy. Peace. Peace. Long-suffering. Long suffering. Gentleness. Gentleness. Goodness. Goodness. Faith. Faith. Meekness. Meekness. Temperance. Temperance. All right. Those are the fruits of the Spirit. Those are good things. Okay. We're going to talk more about those uh, when we get to New Jerusalem. Okay. Yes, Jacob. And sharing. Sharing. Yep. That's part of... Uh, Part of the fruits of the Spirit, right? Mm -hmm. To be kind, to be generous, to help people, to pray for people, to love people. Not to say, I'm better than you! <laughs> right? No, it's, how can I help you? Right? That's a good spirit. Mm -hmm. How can I help you? Or instead of wrath, <clears throat> like you, you, you go, I love you guys. You know, it really feels good to be around you. Mm -hmm. Right? Mm -hmm. we can, we'll talk about all these another time. All right. Hey, good job, kids. Babylon is going to fall, right? This whole icky, dark city is going to fall. It's falling right now. And the light is going to come. Okay? And it's falling right now. No scared Well, not yet, but it will fall in the future. Okay? And no scared and no scary, and no scary thing, right? Okay, let's thank God. Father, we thank you for this Bible study. We thank you for your word. We cannot wait until New Jerusalem comes. The city of peace. Remember that word? Shalom, right? Shalom. Amen. Christian Overcomers is brought to you by the tithes and offerings of our listeners. If you'd like to support our ministry, please go to Christian overcomers.com God bless you and thank you for your support He has sounded forth the trumpet that shall never call retreat He is sifting out the hearts of men before His judgment seat Oh be swift my soul to answer Him Be jubilant my feet Our God is my